It's a wonderful event. Um, lots of opportunity to bid on fabulous, uh, fabulous things, and um, a room full of really wonderful people. Great lunch, great speakers. We always honor very important people, and it's just a really good time. You leave feeling great. Um, also, just the honorees, all of them have a story to tell and how CF has impacted them and their lives. And um, it's heartwarming. We are ready now to begin our program and recognize our honorees. And we begin our own sweet and beautiful daughter. In this area, that, that's all I've ever known, continue to give and allow us the opportunity to live with this disease. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Scott Beeler, president of the West Toronto Motor Group. I want to congratulate all the recipients today for your award. Well deserved. It was so great to take a walk down memory lane and see so many wonderful pictures of past year's celebrations when we were together in person. As the chair for the sixth annual CF Sational Women of Western New York celebration and a CF mom, I'm honored to welcome you today to this afternoon's virtual celebration as we recognize Diane Salento, Maria Gullo, Holly Kemp, Devin E. Larigo, and Laura Zula. These inspirational honorees embody dedication, innovation, and leadership in the CF Foundation's mission to make CF stand for Cure Found. 
Although we can't be together in person, we're so excited to be together virtually to recognize this year's inspirational honorees and raise funds and awareness to continue to further the mission of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. The CF Foundation holds a special place in my heart, and I've had the honor of meeting so many passionate CF fighters, family and friends over the years I've been involved with the CF Foundation. I've also been able to see firsthand the progress being made in the CF community, which is exceptional and is the result of the CF Foundation's dedicated supporters like all of you joining today. On behalf of Western New York CF fighters like myself, I wanted to again congratulate this year's honorees and thank this year's sponsors. Julia Pillar Real Estate, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Mayer, the Halesco family, Drs. Drusi Borowitz and Philip Glick, the Wheel and Daly family, Kemp Painting and Drywall LLC, the Cup family, Dr. Danielle and Mr. Jason Getz, and Mr. and Mrs. Charles and Susan Getz. Thank you as well to each of you for joining us today. Please be sure to check out this year's digital program book for honorary bios and messages from our sponsors. Also be sure to take advantage of the chat feature to type in your comments and congratulatory messages. It's my pleasure to now introduce Gia Kuhn, Individual Giving Officer at the CF Foundation, who will present our first award this afternoon. Thank you, Ruth and Lauren. Oh, it's such an honor to be with you today to present the inaugural Ann L. Swan Legacy Award. Ann Swan has been a committed donor and volunteer for the CF Foundation for almost a decade. And I am fortunate to also call her friend. Ann is a community leader. And when I asked her to help me launch a new event for the CF Foundation, honoring some of the foundation's sensational women, she graciously agreed. This award today is presented to an individual that embodies Anne's spirit, drive, and dedication to furthering the mission of the CF Foundation. It's my pleasure to present this first Anne L. Swan Legacy Award to Laura Zula. Laura has been engaged with the foundation for almost a decade. She serves on the Beth Breath of Life Planning Committee and with her husband, Bob, chaired the gala, raising significant dollars for her important work. Laura is also a founding member of the CF Sational Planning Committee and a gracious host. She and her husband have held numerous board, gift gathering and other events at their lovely home. For many years, they have also supported the Greater Niagara Bass Eyes Celebrity Fishing Event. Laura is a great ambassador for the foundation and shares our work wherever she goes. Having a nursing background and aware of the prognosis for children born with CF prior to the current available therapies, Laura has really been inspired by the incredible progress the foundation has made in improving the life of those living with CF. She continues to work hard in helping us to cross the finish line which is a cure for everyone living with cystic fibrosis. It is with gratitude and heartfelt appreciation that I present today this inaugural award to an amazing lady, my friend, Laura Zula. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so happy to be here with all of you today. Um, even though we're virtual, it's so nice to be able to get together and have the CF Stational Luncheon once again. I would like to thank my good friend Gia for all those wonderful <laughs> sweet things that she said. It was such a nice surprise and so special to have Gia here to introduce me and present me with the award today. So thank you so much, Gia. Um, I am very humbled and honored to accept the Ann L. Swan Legacy Award. Um, that is so very special to me. So thank you so much to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. I would also like to congratulate the other ladies here today that are being honored and recognized for their support and involvement with the foundation. It's a pleasure to be here to share this special day with you. So Gia is the person who introduced my husband, Bob and me to the foundation those many years ago. And we're so very happy that she did. 
It has been our pleasure and privilege to be involved and support the foundation all these years. We have met wonderful people along the way and it has been such an honor to support um, the people who work so hard to find a cure for cystic fibrosis. You can't help be inspired by the volunteers and the staff um, that have such commitment and energy every day in their work here for finding a cure for cystic fibrosis. Um, so my nursing career spanned almost 40 years. And um, in the beginning when I was very young, um, I took care of children with cystic fibrosis and then the life expectancy was very short and um, the children were placed for end of life care in an orphanage. Um, they didn't have treatments and resources and the families couldn't care for them at home. So they didn't have other options back then. Um, so all these years later, to see the tremendous success in developing effective treatments for those affected with cystic fibrosis and to see the improved quality of life for those folks and their families has just been wonderful. And to hear their stories over the years, you know, of their struggles, but um, of their accomplishments, graduating from high school, graduating from college, a career, getting married, having children of their own. Um, it's just been so rewarding to be able to see that and support in some whatever way we could. Um, my husband and Bob, Bob and I are um, you know, committed to continuing to um, support the foundation and be involved in any way we can going forward. So thank you again so much um, for the award. So very appreciated. Thank you. Hello, I'm Nick Scrabani, former ambassador for the CF Foundation Western New York chapter. To all the honorees and patrons attending today's luncheon, thank you for all you do to enrich the lives of people living with CF. It's a privilege and an honor for me to be with you this afternoon to honor a dear friend and a woman who I first met when I was just five years old. Of course, I'm talking about Diane Salento, an energetic and all embracing woman who took me under her wing at a very early age. Together, we would co-chair for over a decade the annual Amherst at Your Service event, helping to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for important CF research. While I grew up, went off to school and ultimately relocated to Manhattan, Diane stayed involved with our local chapter and continued her dedication to the mission at large, which is to change the lives of people living with CF. With a wonderful family of her own, several grandchildren to keep her plenty busy, Diane still manages to support the work of the CF Foundation, her latest initiative being the development of the Rochester's Finest event. Today, as I reflect, as a proud husband and a father of two beautiful baby girls, I'm so thankful for those early years when people like Diane were front and center to make a difference in my life and countless others in our community. Diane, you are without a doubt a CF Sational woman. Congratulations on this wonderful achievement. I salute you. Thank you, Nick. I'm humbled and gratified to be receiving this recognition as a CF Sational woman from the Western New York chapter of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. It truly warms my heart, Nick, to see you happy, healthy, having a wonderful career, but best of all, married with two beautiful daughters. There's no way I could have known when we when our family attended the Amherst Such a Service Dinner almost 30 years ago that that evening would forever change my life and the lives of my family. That night, I met you and your mom and dad. I instantly fell in love with this adorable little boy with big dark eyes. Your mom gave me a crash course that evening. She told me the good, the bad, and the ugly. She told me about your care, your medications, your breathing treatments, and she told me about her fears for your prognosis. It was at that moment that I knew I would do everything in my power to change that prognosis and to see you have the same life expectations that all children dream to have. 
For the past almost 30 years, I have been privileged to meet some of the most amazing families who continue to be a very important part of our lives. I have been honored to chair the Amherst Citrus Service Dinner, to serve as the Rochester Chair of the Volunteer Leadership Initiative, to develop the Rochester's Finest Event, to serve on the Rochester Chapter of the Cystic Fibrosis Board of Directors, for over 20 years and to work alongside some of the most committed and amazing foundation executive directors and to witness the prognosis and successes as a result of the hard work of the researchers and pharmaceutical companies involved in the development of new life-changing drugs and treatments for those living with cystic fibrosis. Life is a way of throwing you curveballs along the way. About 12 years ago, I was stunned to learn that after committing to the CF Foundation for so long, that I was a carrier of one of the rare mutations of the cystic fibrosis gene. I was sad and scared for my two adult children. Now I really had a small sense of what these families had gone through. It was then that I leaned on some of my CF moms who walked and talked me through that time and gave me the understanding and the strength I really needed. I will always be grateful for their support. As many of you know, my business, Rochester Travel Group, has been a proud supporter of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation for the past eight years, making a donation every time a reservation is made to any Disney or destination. We share our involvement with clients and vendors, and it even include the CF Foundation on my business cards. You wouldn't believe the number of people who notice and comment on it. Thank you for this incredible honor. I hope in some small way, my involvement in the foundation has made a difference. And finally, people would be disappointed if I didn't say, if you are successful in business, you owe something back. It doesn't matter where or how you do it, but you do owe something back to the community who made you successful. I choose to do it with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Thank you. Good afternoon. It is quite an honor to be here today to celebrate such amazing people. My name is Kerrigan Rose Gill and I am 11 years old and I have cystic fibrosis. Years ago, my mom and I met a special lady from New York. I was only a couple of years old, but my mom's high school friend and Devani took a road trip to West Virginia to meet us. We fell in love with her immediately. Devani, we are so honored to be chosen to introduce you as one of the CF sen Sensational Women of, Women of the Year. You deserve this honor for your drive and ability to move mountains to help find a cure for me and others like me. If hard work alone could find the cure, we would have had it by now because of you. We love you, we miss you, and we appreciate everything you do for the CF Foundation. As my mom taught us over the years, the quote, never give up on something that you can't go a day without thinking about. That is you, Miss Deb. You do just that, and we thank you for never giving up. Congratulations. Thank you, Kerrigan, for that truly heartfelt um, introduction. I am honored to be here today to accept this award um, as one of the 2021 CF Stational Women of Western New York. Um, a little bit of background about myself. Uh, my husband and I came to be involved with the foundation in 2010, um, which is the same year that our youngest daughter was born. And when she was born, she was flagged in her newborn screen um, as a possible um, possibly having cystic fibrosis. So we set out to learn everything we could during the time. Um, she actually ended up having two sweat tests done. Her first one was inconclusive. So we had this, you know, initial sweat test done and then a two week wait during which time we did what any new parents would do um, who are presented with this, um, you know, plate that they're dealt. And we researched, we researched what this disease could mean for our family, for our daughter, for her life expectancy. Um, and we came to find out that there is very little government funding 
um, into the treatments and possible cures for cystic fibrosis. We um, realized how far the treatments had come since you know we were kids. And um, we realized that a cure is very much in reach. And we basically committed to each other, to ourselves and to our daughter that um, regardless of her outcome, we would stay involved and do everything we could because long-term, this is in our gene pool. And um, even though Alexa was not um, come to find out she did not have cystic fibrosis, she is a carrier. Um, so at some point we may or may not have a grandchild with cystic fibrosis. So um, on the course of getting to know more about the foundation in our local chapter, um, as well as nationwide, um, We've met a number of families who um, were dealt a different hand than us and do have family members who do have cystic fibrosis. And I was introduced by a very good friend of mine to Kerrigan's mom, Mary Rose. Um, they went to high school together and my friend Lisa introduced me to Mary Rose um, who had just gone down a very similar path. Um, Kerrigan's just a little bit older than my youngest daughter. Um, and Mary Rose and I were exchanging, you know, information and she is one of those people who you just can't help but fall in love with. So, you know, my heart ached for her, um, being that she was handed, you know, something that very much could have been, you know, my life, um, and our life with our daughter. So, um, you know, she was kind of the inspiration, um, to keep plugging along and has always been, we think about her often, even though they live far away and we can't see her as often as we would like. Um, but we think of her so often and, um, you know, she really truly is our inspiration to keep plugging along for a treatment. And in the short time, the 10 years, you know, one decade that we have been involved, treatments have come so far and so many, so many families are, um, you know, extending life expectancy, getting better quality of life, but it's not enough until the cure is found for one and all. So um, we will, we will stay the course and my husband is involved. He is a board member. Um, I do sit on the Breath of Life Gala Committee. Um, we're anxious to get back to having these in-person events, um, but for the time being, um, you know, we're doing what we can. Um, and that's kind of our story. Um, we, like I said, we will save the course. We will be here until the cure is found. And um, again, I am truly, truly honored to be chosen. Here's my award. <laughs> as one of this year's recipients. And um, it is something that I truly could not be more proud of. So thank you, Kerrigan. Thank you, Mary Rose. And thank you very much to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation of Western New York. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Casey White and I am a 42-year-old with cystic fibrosis, and I'm so excited to be here this afternoon to introduce you to my friend, Holly Kemp. Holly and I met um, almost 25 years ago when we were playing on the same club soccer team at the University of Richmond. And I was drawn to Holly's enthusiasm for life, her positive outlook, and her amazing laugh. Holly just has this unique ability to make life better. When Holly and I met, she didn't know very much about cystic fibrosis, but as our friendship grew, so did her knowledge for CF and her passion for finding a cure. Holly has done just about everything a person could do to help the CF Foundation find the answers. She has gone to Albany to meet with members of Congress to ensure access to healthcare, She's volunteered at galas and golf tournaments and fishing tournaments and chicken wing festivals. And then also for the last 20 years, she has raised thousands of dollars each and every year for her friends at Casey Great Strides team. Last year for Rose Up, she wrote 65 notes of gratitude to people in her life because, well, she is Holly. Holly and I've had so many adventures together playing sports, visiting baseball stadiums, skiing, riding waves at the Jersey Shore. But maybe my most favorite day with Holly was several years ago when I was on IV antibiotics and not feeling very well. And Holly spent the entire day with me, talking and watching movies and helping me with my medications, hours upon hours upon hours. And she made a day that I otherwise would have wanted to forget a day I always remember with a smile. I know how rare it is to have a friend like Holly 
And I'm so grateful for her each and every day. And I'm also incredibly grateful to all, each one of you who are here this afternoon to help the CF Foundation find a cure. We are getting closer each and every day. And I am so hopeful that Holly and I will have many more years of memories and adventures together. Congratulations, Holly, on your CF Sensational Award. It is so well-deserved. And I am so lucky to have you in my life. I love you so much, my friend. Thank you so much, Casey. I'm grateful for our friendship every day and have loved all of our adventures. You are a true friend and you continue to be my inspiration and motivation for finding a cure. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for honoring me at the CF Stational Luncheon this year. I thoroughly enjoy my work on the board and through the chapter and I'm so honored by this recognition. I also want to congratulate my fellow honorees, Diane, Maria, Laura, and Devaney. They are also deserving for many different reasons. I saw a headline recently that said, service is an attitude, not a department. I cut it out and taped it to my desk as this sentiment really resonated with me. Growing up in New Jersey, community service has always been a part of my life. My dad was a volunteer firefighter for 40 plus years and my mom worked for American Red Cross. I could stop my story right there. Talk about lifetimes of service to others. I'm so thankful to my parents who instilled volunteering and helping others as an everyday value. Through our church youth group, my brother and I were constantly doing work service projects, ranging from raking people's yards, bringing food to shut-ins, or traveling five hours away to Steuben County, New York for a week during our summers. I thought every teenager volunteered like this. Those summer weeks in New York State were life-changing for me. We were part of an organization called RISE. We would sleep in a church with other youth groups and get assigned a family and project for the week. I've skirted a trailer, painted a church steeple, drywalled and painted rooms, among many other repair projects. The value of these work service weeks, however, wasn't the improvements we made to people's homes. It was the friendships made along the way, both with my peers and the families we were serving. I learned at a young age to work well with others problem solve, keep calm in stressful situations, measure twice, cut once, and not judge others if you don't know their story. As Casey mentioned, when we met at Richmond, I had never heard of cystic fibrosis. I was confused by the fact she had a shirt that said friends of Casey. I thought, who wears a shirt saying she has friends? I quickly learned about CF and the Friends of Casey national team that had been started many years prior. Casey and I fell into the same circle, along with our close friend, Erica, playing intramural sports and cheering for our favorite baseball teams. Sometimes we actually attended class and studied too. Creating my first great strides team in 1999 seemed like an easy way to fight for Casey's disease and get a group of people together for a fundraiser. I led a great strides team for the next eight years in New Jersey before I moved to Buffalo in 2007. After I moved here, I only got more involved in the foundation as Casey's dad, Rick Bryan, encouraged Liza Keenan and me to join the board in 2010. The rest, as they say, is history. Curing cystic fibrosis has become my cause. I love volunteering at all the Western New York chapter events, traveling to Albany to advocate and serving on the board. I am in awe every year of the countless donations from my family and friends for my Great Strides team. I have seen the difference the new drugs have made in Casey's life, as well as others with CF. The cystic fibrosis community is like none other than I've been a part of. Everyone is full of hope and a contagious positive attitude. Together, we are making a difference and adding tomorrows to those with CF. Thank you again for this humbling honor. Until it's done. Hi everyone, I'm excited to participate in this year's CF Stational Women of Western New York celebration. I'm particularly honored to introduce my fellow board member, rising star alum, and tomorrow's leader, Maria Gullo. Maria began her involvement with the CF Foundation in memory of her father through the Great Strides campaigns. 
She went on to become a rising star and a tomorrow's leader, both CF foundation programs for young professionals. And now Maria sits on the Buffalo chapters board of directors, leading efforts to engage the next generation of supporters to fight for cystic fibrosis. As a CF fighter myself, I'm incredibly grateful for everything that Maria has done for the CF community. I'd like to share my heartfelt congratulations to Maria for receiving this special recognition. It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you all, Maria Gullo, 2021 CF Sational, a woman of Western New York. Thanks so much, Nicole, for the introduction, and thank you so much to the CF Foundation. It is an honor to be accepting this award today. I really appreciate it. Um, I have a personal connection to cystic fibrosis, and that is that my dad passed away when I was 13. He was 38 when he passed away. Um, I remember growing up, you know, having his vest and his treatments every day, going to the hospital, um, still at Children's. Um, you know, taking care of him and all of those other things that, you know, CF patients live with on the daily, the medicines and everything else. Um, he did not get a lung transplant or anything like that, but he did live until 38, which was very long at the time, um, especially now that, you know, CF is progressing and people are living so much longer these days. And it's all thanks to, you know, the wonderful people who help make this happen, who contribute to the CF Foundation. So I just want to take a minute to thank everyone for that. Um, you know, I understand the impact growing up has on CF families. I saw it firsthand. You know, there's a lot of day-to-day -day that you have to be responsible for and make sure you're doing. And you can't really miss those items, especially like the vest and stuff like that. Um, and it's crazy to see, you know, that everything's more portable these days because when I was growing up with my dad, uh, a lot of it was, you know, you had to plug the machine in. It was this huge machine that, you know, um, was on wheels because it was so heavy. And now I think it's like this big, um, which is awesome. So it's just amazing to see the advancements that are really going on. Um, and I'm involved now because I want to honor my dad. I want to, you know, have a legacy for him and show that Hopefully one day we will have a full cure. Um, it's amazing what has been done so far, especially with Trifecta and all the other drugs that they you know, are coming up with. Um, I got involved when I was uh, like 2015, I wanna say, and I was involved with Cystic Fibrosis Great Strides Walk. And then from there, um, I got involved with Rising Stars. I was a rising star. Um, I became Tomorrow's Leaders Advocate, helped with the Rising Stars as a mentor. I'm now on the board, so I love my involvement. I'm so happy to be a part of this community, and I really enjoyed seeing, you know, what has happened in the last five years, and I can't wait to see what happens in the next five, 10, 15 years. Um, I know we'll have a cure sooner than later, um, but I just wanted to thank everyone again for this award and for your contribution to CF. It means a lot to me and everyone else, you know, battling CF and those involved and everyone who's gotten involved in the past. It, it's really appreciated. Um, but with that, I just wanted to pass it back to Nicole to talk about the advances um, through support of donors like you guys today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations, Maria, and thank you for sharing your inspiring story of perseverance, commitment, and leadership. Although Maria's father lost his battle to cystic fibrosis over 15 years ago, Maria continues to fight hard so that others with CF, like myself, can live healthier, longer lives and pursue dreams we never thought possible. I am so grateful that before my father passed last year, he was able to witness Trichafta and see the amazing change that it has made in my life and the lives of so many others fighting CF. His legacy lives on in all the advancements for CF and in the passion and the drive he instilled in me. In the same way, Maria's father lives on in the passion and the drive he instilled in her. I am so incredibly grateful to be a living, 
breathing example of all of our advancements for cystic fibrosis. One of many people still walking this earth solely because of what we've accomplished. Maria, my parents, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, and amazing supporters like all of you joining today. But the fight is not over. We are driven by a dream that very soon, not one person will lose a parent, a child, a sibling, or a friend to cystic fibrosis. The CF Foundation will not rest until we have a cure for everyone battling cystic fibrosis. Please keep fighting with us until it's done. Thank you each, to this year's, each year's honorees and those introducing this year's honorees. Your stories of family, friendship, and support for one another continue to inspire me and the entire CF community. In just a minute, we're going to go to our live bid for a cure. Believe it or not, live, this is live. I am live, folks. Uh, sorry, no tuxedo today. Heather tried, but I couldn't find it. So... Again, in the, you get an opportunity here for 100% tax deductible to donation to further the Cystic Fibromyalgia Foundation's mission. So please reach deep into your hearts. Help us make a difference today. Help us give those with cystic fibrosis the gift of more time to pursue in their dreams. Our new feature this year is a virtual environment is the ability to see the donations live as they are made on the mobile bidding site. If you are viewing the celebration on your desktop or laptop, a best practice is the virtual environment is to log into the auction platform on your smartphone. This way you can access the live bid for a cure while still viewing the celebration. If you'd like to make a bid for a cure this afternoon, you can use the same link you received for the auction preview. Before we go into the live bid for a cure, I also wanted to share a quick reminder that the event's silent auction closes tonight at 9 p.m. So you have plenty of time to get on bid at home, after dinner, before your favorite show, you still have time for that. If you have, haven't already, log in, make your final bids and help us add to tomorrow's for those with cystic fibrosis. So without further ado, let's start this afternoon's bid for a cure. They're gonna open up, we're gonna do our normal levels like we've done before in the past, 2,500, 1,000, the 500, the 250, at $100 and a new level, the $65 level. We'll get to that in just a second. So without further ado, folks, I know it's been a long time since we've been together, but here we are, we're back already. The nature of the world has changed and the nature of our cause is still the same. So let's start out with our first level. We always aim high as we always do. As you can see your screen, we're uh, we're about 30% already there and let's we haven't even started. So we're gonna start here with our $2,500 level. So at the $2,500 level, if there's anyone else that can do that, please at this time, bid on your laptop, cell phone. We can see it on the screen right here in front of us. Again, we're at 30% right now. Um, bid for your cure donations. You all keep keying in from home or work and display it on this live screen as soon as they come in. And if you have some trouble, just ask for some help on, we do have live help here online. So at the $2,500 level, let's see some of those donations. Let's see 
we already have some anonymous donors that, that have put in. We have some um, Mike Larigo, Casey White, Elizabeth Keenan. At the $2,500, we're raising up here right now at the $2,500. We're 30% there, folks. So congratulations to those folks that are bidding at this level. So now our $1,000 level is next. But we did have a $1,000 bid come in this morning to kick off from our board president, Mr. Jamie Phipps. Thank you very much, Jamie. It's awesome as usual for all your support and all you do for us. It's a great, great thing. So let's get up there with Jamie, add him some more money at the $1,000 level. We're at 50% already. We're not done yet. We're not leaving until we get to that 100%, which will happen very soon. I see it happening, folks. So again, it's 100% tax deductible for the bid for the this afternoon. So please click it, clicking that link uh, on the auction platform as well. So with the thousand dollar level, if we have some folks here again, to, I'm just seeing a main list, Maria, Michael, they're bidding very well at the thousand dollar level. So at our next level, we're going to do the five hundred dollar level. If you can do the five hundred dollar level, let's get those bids in. We're at about uh, uh, thirty five hundred and fifty five dollars raise. So at the five hundred dollar level, folks, if you can get those bids in right now, we can get this up a lot closer to where we are. We're at about fifty percent now. So anyone at the five hundred dollar level, uh, again, Jamie Phipps, Jennifer Koff, Michael Arrigo, Casey White, Elizabeth Keenan. Tracy Smith, great donors today. Maria Gallo, Michael DeLay. If we can get some more in there, we've got 10 people. We're getting close there, 3580. We still got a little bit to go here. So we're gonna move on to the next level, which is gonna be the $250 level. I just saw a giant jump on the screen here. So anyone at the $250 level, punch that into your computer. We're at about $4,080. That's great, guys. We're 60% of the way there. Let's keep going. We're almost there. Uh, that was an anonymous donor that just came through. Thank you very much, whoever they are. So we're at the $250 level. If you guys can do that, just punch into your phone. Uh, we have a great, great crowd here today. I'm thankful for all those people that showed up and, and are helping what we're doing here today. Again, we will get there. We will get there. We're back. Our events are coming back strong, and we're going to get back to this thing pretty soon, quickly. And, and uh, But we're making really good strides here with this thing today. So at the $250 level, we'll give those folks a great round of applause. Our next level is going to be the $100 level. So anyone at the $100 level, if you can punch those into your keyboards, let's get some uh, uh, donations up there online. Again, we're at about $4,080, 60% of the way. Keep going, guys. At the $100 level, let's get those bids in. Thank you, Diane, for that last one there. At the $100 level, if we can get those punched in, that would be great. It's a great, great thing. All right, let's give congratulations. We got a couple here. Thank you very much. 4225, that's where we're at. 65% or 60%. 60%. We got another 40 to go. Let's keep going here. So our final level here tonight, this afternoon, I'm sorry, not tonight, is $65, which is in the honor of the cystic fibrosis, 65 roses story. So let's get those in. We're, we need about 40% of the way to get through this. $65, a great, great uh, uh, amount here today. Up to 70%, we're at 47.45. We're at 70%. Great, great, great. Thank you very much. Uh, Heather made a, a donation here. Holly, another donation. Thank you so much. 14 donors. I know there's a lot more people out there. We can do this. We can do this. 48.10, it's climbing. $65. Folks, if there's any levels I haven't mentioned, feel free to obviously punch those in. You're not restricted to our levels. Those are just our suggestions. But if you'd like to do something more, that would be great. We're not done. We're going to keep running this thing for a little bit here. So thank you to all those who have made a generous donations while others are logging in and clicking for our bid for a cure. I have a pleasure of sharing with you all entertainment by Singspire, a virtual choir of singers with cystic fibrosis. So please enjoy this moving piece and then we will come back to our live bid for a cure and share the progress towards our goal and stick around. We're at 4940. So here we go. The Singspire group right now. And keep bidding, folks. We'll see you in a second.
wow, I'd like to think that I can speak for all of us who attended today in saying that the group and their music is truly moving. So now let's take a look at our live bid for a cure. I think the numbers I'm getting, hold on a second here. We are at 80%, folks, 80%. We're almost there. We're almost there, just a little bit more. So it is great to see the people tuning in from all over the country to support our shared goal to find a cure for cystic fibrosis. Thank you all again for your generous contributions that will get to the Cystic Foundation uh, one step closer to a cure. We're going to keep this up for a couple seconds, so hopefully we can get those extra extra bids in there. We're at 5770, which is a lot more than I saw on my phone here just a second. Um, it has been a pleasure to be part of this afternoon celebration. Congratulations to all the, this year's honorees, and thank you all for joining us in the 2021 CF Sational Women of Western New York celebration. As we close out this afternoon, here are a few words from our board chair, Mr. Jamie Phipps. Hello, my name is Jamie Phipps and I am the board chair of the Western New York CFF chapter and president of Gilia Marketing Communications and Technology. Gilia has been proud to support the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation for many years, and we are dedicated to continuing to do so until CF stands for Cure Found. Thanks to the incredible work this foundation does, many people with CF are now living with a better quality of life. They're able to pursue their dreams and reach their goals, something we would not have thought possible just a few decades ago. I want to congratulate the amazing group of women we are honoring for the sixth annual CF Stational Women of Western New York Celebration. Each one of them has worked tirelessly to improve the lives of those with cystic fibrosis. Thank you for making change possible. Thank you for never giving up. And thank you for helping our community grow stronger than ever before. Our most challenging work is still ahead, but with women like this on our side, we can accomplish anything.